Okay, my loyal subjects. I thought about it, and I thought it wasn't fair to make you see anything that was the same in a regular game. So I just cut right to the end. Made it easier on all of us. And you see, the first difference here. The cat's still alive! Let's talk to the kitty. Yo. I knew you wouldn't need my help one bit. Well, the house does try to help out with all the notes and whatnot. Whatever body they've got, it's clear who the master of the house is. Well then, I'm gonna leave one step ahead of you. Cause she showed up, it looks like. And it seems the magic of the house has gone back to her. Which means the magic's gonna go poof, right? If I stay here, I'm gonna vanish with it. Hmm? Haha. <laughs> No, just because we don't have physical forms doesn't make us immortal. Hmm, well, that's that. Good luck with the rest. Ellen, my faithful witch. <sighs> oh, the kitty died. Kitty. S corpse of a black cat possessed by a demon. Squelch. Alright, here's where it gets really, truly interesting. Are you ready, my subjects? Read it. She was sure to hear out my wish. Because she was so kind. Because she was so trusting. When we traded bodies, Viola, you must have been surprised. My body was falling apart. It hurt all over. I was used to it, but I suppose you couldn't take it. It must have hurt. You cried in pain. So then I gave you medicine. A throat-burning medicine. It made you unable to speak. After all, I didn't want to hear my own screams. Since I lied that it would stop the pain, of course you would drink it. Hee hee. Then I escaped from this room. In the garden, I felt the gentle breeze. Ah, it was wonderful. And that's right. Before you came, I gouged my eyes out. I cut off my legs. So that Viola, in my body would despair as she died. Ah, Viola, my dear, quote, friend, unquote. So kind, so charming, so loved, and with all that, so foolish. My dear friend. <laughs> the legless girl. It'd be cool if they changed the legless girl to Viola to tell the truth. Give it back. <laughs> Change this to my room. <laughs> Suppose it's true, do I? Now, the last part of the really true ending is to grab Ellen's knife before we leave. No, that's not fair in the least. <sighs> Let's try that again. Eh, you've already seen that, but I'm still gonna grab it for you. It's the third part of the truest ending, so I'm gonna be kind and finish it off for you. No! Just, La di da, la di da. Nothing special going on here. Nothing no one hasn't seen before. Except me achieving victory over this game. <laughs> yeah! The light fades and then out of the house, and let's just get out of here. For some reason, the house is all freaky. Want to be back in? And this here, what is this? Pick up, not a letter. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, it's two halves of a letter. Okay. Uh, dear Viola, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's an old legend that says a witch lives in the forest and kidnaps children to get lost there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Your friend's name was Ellen, right? I don't. Mind if you go to her house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Dad. Aw, oh, daddy dearest. <sighs> Cute little bottle that kills the witch's roses. Smells sweet. Oh, 
Oh, the cabinet that you get that from, if you read it again after you pick up the cute little bottle, it says, Medicine to Kill Me, in red. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Alright, now for the third part of the truest ending. Viola, in Ellen's body, opens her eyeless eyes, says, give it back once more. I'm not going to narrate this, I'm just going to, boy, you're stubborn. Read it out loud for you. Stabby, stabby, stabby. How long are you going to chase me? You know that body won't last long. Dot, dot, dot. Graf. Hmm, give it back? No way. His body hurts much less. You gave it to me in the first place. Why should I have to give it back? Right? Leona. You felt so sorry for me, I couldn't even move forward. That's why I used my magic to trade bodies with you. Just for a day? Hee <laughs> hee, I guess I did say that. I was surprised you could trap me with my own power. But to no bit. After all, it's my house, yes? It wouldn't be killing me anytime soon. I was guided by that house all the way. So I wasn't sure to see. Still not dead? I have to applaud you, it's nasty. Ah, could it be are you that worried about your father? I know, you and your father are close family too. Memory stay in your body, kind man, hunter. You even signed through that letter. What a great daddy, dearest. So then I suppose you're worried about what'll happen when you're gone. It'll be fine. I'll give him Viola's share of love. And I'll take his share of love too. So, Viola? Jula, you're safe. Are you hurt anyway? What? Why? Fa. Ah. D. 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 Stay away, monster. Oh. Tear shed for Viola Lost. Shotgun disappears. Run off. Hee <laughs> hee. Run off. Fiend. L. Fiend. Whoa! That was fun! Hold on. The black hat isn't dead quite yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there he is. Kitty walks out of the woods. There goes Viola and Ellen's body. And the black cat. And. And. Fiend. Alright. That was fun. Thank you for watching my little subject. See you on the flip side. See you on the flip side.